Sorry for the late review. It did take me a very long time to go see this movie. But it's one of those movies where I work at the theater and the, the whole family, families came to watch this movie. I mean, there was like a hundred plus in like last weekend's opening for this movie. So very shocked to see this movie do so well for how bad it is. Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. Back in 2015, the first Goosebumps movie came out which starred Jack Black, the kid from Don't Breathe, and it was a cute, fun family movie. It was not corny. I mean, it ha okay, well, it was corny, but it took itself in a really fun and good dialogue and a good kids film family fun kind of way where it did it the exact way it needed to do. It did it in the fun way. It did it the best way it could. And I actually like the first Goosebumps movie. I've always said that I think it's one of those underrated haunt like fun Halloween kids movies that you can watch. I actually do one on Blu-ray. I think it's a good movie. Going to this movie, I felt like just going in the first one. Like when I first saw the first one, I was like, I wasn't excited. I was like, this is gonna be really bad. It's gonna ruin my childhood because I grew up watching the original and uh, the TV series. I read the books. Like I grew up on Goosebumps. So seeing this movie just makes me so like disappointed what they could do with this series. So this basically it picks up years after the first one. Um, Arl Arl Stein, he is nowhere near this, and then Jack Black. It does do the voice as, as slappy, but I don't think he did the voice for this one. I don't think he did. If he did, it, it sounded like him at times, but there were times where it sounded like freaking Arkham City, Arkham Asylum Joker, like Mark Hamill kind of stuff, like his laugh especially. Anyways, so basically Slappy returns and he's haunting these two boys who pick up trash in this house, whatever. They awaken him and Slappy is taking over the town, making everything come to life and it's haunted Halloween. And so they got to call Earl Stein to come and save the day and does he show up, does he not? I'm not going to answer it because I think I, I know the answer to it because I think it was in a trailer. So I'm just going to let it be. But if whoever, it's been out for a week. If you want to see this movie, you've seen it. So, yes, Jack Black does show up as R.L. Stein for like two minutes. Like literally two minutes in this movie. And he does nothing. This movie was so disappointing. The dialogue is so seven and under kid dialogue. Like... And it just wasn't funny, it wasn't smart, it didn't have good dialogue the first one did. I mean, the first one is not a masterpiece, I'm not saying that. The CGI for the first movie is not even great, but it's better than this movie. The CGI in this movie, like, it was trash. And you could tell they wanted to rush out a sequel and because they want to make money, get it out there, let's just do it. But no, they, I mean, the first one just had a charm to it. It had something to it. It had a lesson. Like, you, you learned a lesson. I don't know. Like, I've, I haven't seen the movie in a, a good bit, I will admit. But the first movie, when I first saw it, I liked it. I do like that movie. Watching this movie, it's totally disgraceful. I'll say the main girl, she's the girl from Jumanji, she's the real life girl in the uh, sequel to Jumanji, she's that girl. She was fine in this movie. I thought she did, she was the main character you could say. She's trying to type her essay to go to college or the entire movie. So I mean that was one lesson you could say and I thought the kid from It did the best he could, but his friend, I don't know who he was, but for his first movie, if it's his first movie, I thought he was really bad. I thought the mom was so annoying. I just, the neighbor is the Ken John from The Hangover. I thought he was just outrageously cartoony. And I know this movie's for kids, whatever, so I know you put the, it's just for kids, you could be not supposed to go deep in this movie, but if you look at the first one, I know people who actually like the first one. My mom likes the first one. She didn't say it was cute. She actually said that was a good movie, and I agree with her. But for this movie, this movie, the CGI is terrible. The jokes, it's not funny. There's no creepy moments. There's nothing like that. It's just seven and under kid comedy. There you go. Throw it out there. And that's why I'm going to give... Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween a D plus. Again, I just it felt like the magic of it was gone. Now I will say this, even to the first movie, the first movie and this movie is nothing like the original series. The original series, I'm not gonna lie, the original series, I've seen episodes on Netflix. Those are, there's a few creepy moments in the original series. I will give the series that. It'll never be that, ever, because they wanna make kid-friendly cartoon blah. And we do get a third one. I hope they actually take the time and do it, not just throw it out there like this one. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed this late review and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.